Hello everyone. This is Gayatri Priya, Assistant Professor in the Department of ECE of RMD Engineering College. In today's sessions of ad hoc and wireless sensor networks, we are just going to see what is a sensor node architecture. Right. So actually, we have discussed about the sensor node. Right. But the sensor nodes will be very, very small in size. Okay. Therefore, the need for extreme scalability is having a direct sequence for the protocol design. Okay. It should be as small as possible. Right. Whenever we are choosing the hardware component for the wireless sensor node, we have to take care in mind about the cost, size and energy consumption of each and every node. So, this is going to be the decisive factor in case of the wireless sensor node. For that, we should take much interest over the sensor node architecture, right? So, this is a block diagram of sensor node architecture, okay? So, for anything, we need a power supply, okay? So, here this power supply, uh, even we can have a battery or we can have a rechargeable battery over here as the power supply, right? And then we will be having a controller. So, as we know already, the controller is heart of any system. So, here I either I can make use of a microcontroller or we can make use of a digital signal processor or we can make use of a ASIC. That is application specific integrated circuit. So, whatever the thing. But each and everything has its own pros and cons. So, accordingly, we are giving priority to the microcontroller to act as a controller in case of the sensor node architecture, right? Here we are having the communication device. So communication device in the sense it has to connect the end users. That is it will be acting as a transmitter as well as a receiver that is the transceiver condition. Here we can have the duplex uh, communications or so whatever the thing. Okay, so we are having certain consideration and optimization goals for designing such a transceiver over here. So generally, we will be taking care about the uh, antenna design over here. Okay, so and then we will be having the sensors or actuators. So actually, this is going to take down the physical parameters. What is to be measured in that particular sensor node is being captured by the sensors as well as the actuators. So, whatever the data that is being manipulated is going to be taken to the end user by means of the communication device or it is taken as the database and it is stored in the memory. Here the memory unit can be a RAM, ROM or anything else but we prefer for a, a strong memory unit over here. Right? So, the controller is nothing but it is going to process all the relevant data right and the memory we are going to store the programs as well as the intermediate data so as discussed already the sensors and actuators are going to observe or control the physical parameters of the environment so communication we know turning on the nodes into the network for sending as well as receiving the information over the wireless channel as, as discussed the power supply can be in the form of batteries so that the sensor node should be having enough energy to complete the task that is being given. Okay. So this is a very, very lucid explanation for our sensor node architecture. Hope you understand this sessions. Thanks a lot.